So one thing that I did not get on this truck is a bed liner of any kind. They didn't have that uh, option when they ordered this truck at the dealership. So I need something in here. And I thought very seriously about going back with the spray in, but as you guys just saw, I spent a lot of money on that spray in and then ended up turning the truck in early and lost it. Cause you can't just pop a spray in liner back out and reuse it or sell it. So I decided I don't want to do that again because who knows what the future is going to hold. I want something that I can remove from the truck if I have to. And I started browsing online and I found this thing, the dual liner proudly made in Wisconsin. So we're going to open this up and I'm going to pop this in the Ram. Supposedly it's a pretty easy process. Let's see what it looks like. All right. So right out of the box, You've got five pieces. You've got the tailgate, the bulkhead, or whatever you want to call it up at the front of your bed. You've got the left and right sides, and then out there is the rubber mat that goes on the floor. I laid it out there in the sun so it can kind of, you know, stretch out and lay out a little bit better before I put it in. Uh, but I read through the instructions, and it seems extremely simple. Now I'm doing this by myself, so uh, I'm not going to be able to show you every little detail but basically you're going to start with the front of the bed and just snap this into place and then you can put your left and right sides in before you do the floor pretty simple now my truck doesn't have the led lights but if you did you can get these pre-cut so that your led lights in the bed will shine through them so let's pop this first piece in here and see what it looks like well that was probably the easiest part i've ever or easiest bed liner I've ever installed. I still got to put the floor in here, but it was literally just snapping everything in. Start with the front piece and then your left and right pieces, and they literally just pop right into place. It was a 30 second job. So far, so good. All right, so now the rubber floor is in. All you do is pull the rubber floor up into your bed, and then you can see how it goes in the channel. You just tuck it into the channel all the way around. And it looks pretty good. Now up there in the front, it's still kind of bowed up a little bit where it was curled up in the box. That will eventually relax. And I'm going to lay something on there before I leave and go back to town to give it a little more persuasion to lay flat. But that was really easy and it looks really good. Other great thing about it is there's obviously it's rubber, so it's a no slip surface. You know, your stuff's not gonna slide around on here. So, cool. All we gotta do now is the tailgate piece. These are T30 Torx, so you gotta have a T30 Torx socket. They did include some double-sided tape in the kit if you wanna use that instead, but I think I might just pop these out real quick because I have an electric tool and just reuse those. So there you have it. Now when you do the tailgate part, there's a whole lot of these little screws in the tailgate. You don't have to take all of them out. There are just six that go around the outside edge and then right there on the side. So those are the only six you have to take out and put back in with, uh, with the tailgate shield. So uh, basically what this is, it kind of looks like those old fashioned drop-in liners, but you do have a rubber floor, which is better. And it's all modular, so you can install it yourself at home in like five minutes i've been working on this for five minutes and like i said if you ever get rid of this truck and get a different one you can take this out and reuse it in your next truck or if it's a different brand you could sell it to somebody else so you can get a little bit of money back out of it but that's really nice i like that it's a good idea they came up with and for me it'll work perfectly so now all i have to do is put something heavy on this rubber mat so it'll relax and lay down uh, get rid of that memory that it's had from being rolled up and I'm good to go See if I can get a better view of it over here Before I let you guys go the dual liner. I got this from their website dualliner.com It was $3.99 shipped. So it was uh, At least hundred and fifty dollars less than I would have spent on a spray-in and you still have the little detents there that are factory in your bed. So if you want to put some lumber in there for hauling different things, you still got those. Obviously, you still got tie down points sticking through so you don't lose that. And this rubber mat has little nubs on the bottom to kind of elevate it just enough that the water can move around. So if you get water or snow in your bed, 
it should be able to flow back to the, um, the drain holes that are in your bed from the factory. So it shouldn't trap and hold water, which is also good. So not bad. Not a bad product at all. All right, guys, that's going to be it for now. I know that was quick and easy, but I just wanted to show you what this thing looks like for the 2020 Ram 1500. All right, talk to you later.